the next step in our journey is to find out whether the nature of surfaces it has any impact on the friction acting with over the connected bodies or you can say the body in contact with the surface so let us find this out by carrying a simple activity here we have a brick which is placed on a table and now what we are going to do is we are going to attach this brick to a spring balance and just try pulling this brick with the use of the spring balance so what do you think happens uh, are we able to move the brick now that the brick is not that heavy and we are applying a force on it so as one would expect the brick it begins to move when the brick just begins to move we get an estimate of the force of sliding friction between the contact surface of the brick and the table like in this case the reading of my spring balance it comes out to be 600 grams which is approximately equal to 6 newtons now we cover the brick with a piece of polythene and repeat the same activity so what do you think now will there be any change in the reading of the spring balance and is it going to be more than the previous case or the less than or less than it well in fact some of you may even be thinking so why more or less it is the same brick so the amount of force which is required to move it it will still be the same as was in the earlier case let's find it out now so here we see that the reading of the spring balance it comes out to be 450 grams which is approximately equal to 4.5 newtons and as a matter of fact this is lesser than the previous one when the brick it was pulled without being covered with the polythene thus less force is required to move the brick when it is covered with the polythene bag than when it is not covered with it and consequently it had a rougher surface area this shows that rough surfaces they offer more friction while smooth surfaces they offer less friction thus we may conclude that the force of friction it depends on the nature of surfaces in contact